Welcome to Knowledge Powerhouse, learn more to earn more. In this section, we will study questions about the basic design concepts in AWS. We will study about the design to fail system, questions regarding data proximity principle, cloud computing, and Amazon basics. One popular question is why AWS systems are built on design to fail approach. Design to fail is the principle on which this question is made. So to understand the design to fail principle, you have to see that, let's say there is an example where we have system A and system B that are connected to a database. And this database is a single point of failure. If database crashes, our whole system comes down. So how will you design a system that can handle such a failure? To create a design to fail system, we will use a backup database. In AWS, it's very easy to replicate a database and create a backup database. In case of failure, we can immediately switch to the backup database. And this backup database will always be syncing up with the master database. Our system will not face very long downtime with the backup database. So as soon as the database crashes, we switch over system A and system B to backup database. With this, the system will remain available for a long period of time. Later in the course, we will explain what are the tools in AWS that can be used for such a fast switch to backup database. So for a design to fail system, there are certain characteristics. First of all, if we follow a pessimist approach while designing an architecture, in the cloud, we will assume that the things will fail. So that is the first thing for a design to fail system that we are not optimistic. We are pessimistic that system will fail. To handle such failure, we will have to always create a system that can have an automated recovery from failure. So we have to create an inbuilt automated recovery mechanism in a design to fail system. Also an AWS system is designed to automatically recover from design execution and deploy stage failures. When all these three stages of failures are handled, the system can handle any failure. Okay, so now we come to the question that what are the tools in AWS that can be used for creating a system based on design to fail principle? So in AWS, there are tools and products that help in creating such a system. So what are those tools? Based on your experience, you have to answer this question. So just to help you, the answer would be, AWS provides many tools for creating a strong system based on design to fail principle. Some of these are Elastic IPs. We can fail over gracefully by using Elastic IPs in AWS. An Elastic IP is a static IP that is dynamically remappable. We can quickly remap and fail over to another set of servers so that application traffic is routed to the new set of servers. It is also very useful when we want to upgrade from old to new version of software. And then we come to availability zones. For a design to fail system, we can use multiple availability zones to introduce resiliency in AWS system. An availability zone is like a logical data center by deploying application in multiple availability zones, we can ensure high availability. Even in case of failure in some zones, the system remains available in the other zones. Then we have an option of Amazon RDS. Amazon RDS provides deployment functionality to automatically replicate database updates across multiple availability zones. So with this, we have always the backup database ready. Then we have machine image. Uh, this is called M Amazon machine image where we can maintain an AMI to restore and clone the environments easily in a different availability zone. So as soon as a system is down in one environment, we can start it up in the next environment. So we can use multiple database layers across availability zones. Even we can set up hot replication with these machine images. Amazon CloudWatch. This is a real-time open source monitoring tool in AWS 
that provides visibility on AWS cloud. So with monitoring, you will know that when is the system going to fail and you can take the corrective action. So we can take appropriate actions in case of hardware failure or performance degradation by setting up alerts on CloudWatch. Then we have auto scaling. We can create an auto scaling group to maintain a fixed number of servers. In case of failure or performance degradation, unhealthy Amazon EC2 instances are replaced by the new ones. So we can use auto scaling whenever we need to scale the system up or down. Amazon EBS, we can set up clone jobs to take incremental snapshots of database and upload it automatically to Amazon S3. In this way, data is persisted independent of the instances. So we can use EBS for that. And we can also set up the automated backups. We can set the retention period that for how long the backup will be kept and then we can perform the automated backups that introduce a resiliency in the system where even if there is a failure, the backup can bring the system back. 